Well, good morning from New Mexico. A cold morning in New Mexico. Yes. If y'all want to know what it's like in New Mexico in November, it's cold. It's like 35 degrees this morning. It is. It's chilly. <laughs> I'm over here bundled up and thinking, I think I have to break my jacket out today. The sweater may not cut it. <laughs> yeah, it's cold, but we're about to embark a seven mile journey to Carlsbad Caverns. This is Carlsbad Caverns National Park and Elise has been wanting to come here for a long time. I have, ever since we got our first RV, this has been on my hit list. This is a place that I came to when I was a toddler. I don't remember it at all, but I have pictures of me when I was like two years old here. So it's been somewhere I've been wanting to come and see for myself as an adult. I didn't know that. Huh, interesting. Mm -hmm. The truth is revealed on camera. <laughs> the mountain seven miles and right now it is 30 degrees out and there's some like signs along the way it says be careful can be black ice which is ice that you can't see and there's no guardrails up the mountain so it was kind of scary but we made it and there's a lot of other people up here already a lot of vans a lot of rvs a lot of just regular folk and cars and trucks at first it looked like we were all alone <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of freaky, but this looks like it's going to be pretty awesome. I'm super stoked, but it's real foggy out. It just looks like winter out there. Alicia's back there swapping her shoes out. Yeah, I put on an extra pair of leggings underneath my other leggings because it's quite chilly out there. 30 degrees. And I hear it's even colder in the caverns, and I'm putting on my hiking shoes with grip on. And it's wet in caves. <laughs> Yep, we'll I'm curious safe. to know if it's going to be a lot of ice in there. I'm probably going to change to my boots. <laughs> Better traction. So I did renew our National Parks annual pass while we were here. And I have our passport book. And I've opened it to the southwestern region and gotten a stamp for Carlsbad Caverns for today. So this is cool. So every time we go to a national park, we get the stamps. See, there's... One from Hot Springs, and now we've got one that says Carlsbad Caverns National Park, November 19th, 2022. Welcome to Carlsbad Caverns National Park. My name is Morgan. Uh, you all are about to head down 750 feet beneath where we're standing right now to see some incredible things. Now, for your safety, as well as the safety of the cave, I just ask at all times while you're down there, please stay on the trail and please do not touch any of the formations. Off-trail can be very slick, very dangerous. You could hurt yourself. You could also hurt the cave. The formations down there, even though they're very old, they can be very fragile. Even the oils from your fingers can permanently damage them. So, hands off. Now, when you're down there and talking, I do ask keep your voice down to a whisper. Speaking nearly as loud as I am right now, everybody within a quarter mile of you is going to hear what you're saying loud and clear. So, any deep, dark secrets you're spelling may be deep and dark, but they will not be secret any longer. Now, take all the photos you like, capture those memories. You can use flash and flashlights, so long as no one's getting blinded in the process. And please don't leave anything behind down there. No trash, no coins in our ponds. They unfortunately do not grant wishes. Now, as you're walking on down here, the path toward the natural entrance, you'll see bathrooms along the way. Those are the only bathrooms you're going to see until you get down to the big room, about 45 minutes to an hour away. So if you have to go, that is your first and last chance to go before you get underground. Now, as you're about to head out this door, uh, you're going to walk down following signs of the natural entrance. Do be cautious as you're walking down there. Uh, there's some snow going on, so the path can be a little slick in some spots. I don't want you to hurt yourselves. All right. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to stick around. I'd be happy to answer them to the best of my ability. But if you all are ready, feel free to head this way out the door. Okay. We are in the descent. This is the natural entrance trail, which is the mouth of the cavern. Uh, and it descends 75 stories, y'all. Which is almost the height of the Empire State Building. We're about to go down at a pretty steep angle. If you look at this um, trail map here, it's like a little walking path that goes like this, back and forth, back and forth. And I think that's kind of how it's gonna do most of the way. But yeah, so this is a 1.25 mile hike down. There is an elevator if you don't wanna hike it, but you know, we need our exercise and you're gonna see more of the beauty if you walk it. And the good news is it's warmer in the cave than it yes. is outside. It's actually 56 degrees 
according to the ranger, inside the cave. Right now, outside the cave, it is a crisp 30 degrees, and we've seen a couple of snow flurries. Yeah, we have. <sighs> Let's get after it. Lots and lots of bat poop. Ew. There are a ton of bats in here. We haven't seen any, but they say there are a ton of bats. But judging by the poop, there's millions of them. It smells. So we are in darkness now. We have descended enough where you've got no natural light. They said that flashlights are permitted in here, so we're not breaking any rules with the, uh, the light in here. But they do say to whisper, so that's why my voice is really low, because your voice is carry within these caves. So we're not going to be able to see too, too much in here, but we'll show what we can. I think the really pretty areas are lit better, so fingers crossed we'll be able to see that. running through these caves too and you can hear the slight trickle of water so little interesting fact the ones coming down from the ceiling are called stalactites and you can remember that because they're holding tight to the ceiling coming up from the ground are stalagmites and then you have these that are columns that run all the way top to bottom really cool steep now so up top there was just like a gentle slope going down now the grade is like this so they got handrails up here and you might want to hold on to them because it's pretty steep come on come on let's go about 200,000 tons. Yeah, so this piece of rock right here used to be part of the ceiling. It's the largest piece that's ever fallen. It weighs 200,000 tons. So we're in the big room now. So we took this route in and we are here. So now this is the big room. We're gonna walk around the big room here, all down here at the bottom, and then we'll come back over to this area and take the elevator up. It was super cool hiking down through here, but when you get to this big room, you're like, Wow. It's the best. It's enormous and you're just looking everywhere going, oh my God, look at that, look at that, look at that. So what we're seeing through the camera lens is nothing like what you're seeing through your naked eye. This is something everybody needs to see. The it's video incredible. does not do it justice. Oh my gosh. We're not climbing up, we're taking the elevator. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we said. <laughs> I like it. Requisite magnet for everywhere we go. If you don't get a magnet, it, it didn't, didn't happen. happen. <laughs> That's so crazy, look. We went all the way down here and started up here, 75 stories down. My ears didn't pop. Did yours ears pop? I heard a lot of people say that their ears popped. Ours didn't. We're conditioned from all the flying, I guess. Higher elevation, but never low elevation. It's snowing in New Mexico, y'all. And it's weird snow. It is. It's real hard. It's more like sleet. It's like a cross between sleet and snow. It's weird. You know I got little, really hot in the caves, and that's why my jacket's not on. But. You know the little ice cream balls that you oh, eat? Oh, like Dippin' Dots? It's, yeah. It's the consistency of Dippin' Dots. <laughs> Look, open your mouth. Oh, catch some. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> the camera's not picking it up really well. Oh, maybe right here. It's coming down pretty good now. There's a good wind, so it's coming down kind of sideways. It's yeah. snowing. That's, I think you're right. I think it's sleet because it's like little pebbles coming out of the ceiling. It's in or there. out of the ceiling, out of the... Look! We're taking refuge back to the van. Ah, it's nice and warm and cozy in the van. Okay, so we're gonna grab some lunch, make us a sandwich here in the van, and we are off to White Sands. White Sands National Park, that is. So that's two national parks in one day. That's a first. And potentially in the snow. <laughs> so it's a seven mile road 
that zigzags up the mountain and there's this there's a couple of stops that you can make there's a really pretty overlook here and it's neat because you can see how the road's winding up it's cold back in the van we found some longhorns along the side of the road here what are they doing here they're supposed to be in texas little lookout on our way back down from eight almost nine thousand feet in elevation we're on our way to white sands but we had to go over this mountain to get there and the views are breathtaking y'all look at this it was a little sketchy there for a minute because i almost ran out of gas but we got some gas and we saw snow i mean we were literally at the top of the mountain we saw snow it started snowing for a little bit got our gas but we are heading back down now and the sun came out and we seen this and we just had to stop. Absolutely beautiful. Back down the mountain. That's what we just drove through. And let me tell you what, oh, I'm glad we are on the flat side of the mountains now, <laughs> or I'm glad we're on the other side of the mountains. Look at the size of those things, but we came up on the other side of them. It was a slow, gradual grade. You don't even really feel yourself climbing until you're like at 8,000 feet and you're like, holy cow, we're committed now. <laughs> the sun is shining. It's flat for now at least. And look at those mountains, how beautiful. We're racing against daylight. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be dark very soon. Oh. Sand. So this is gypsum sand. It's different than most sands in the world and that this is water soluble. If it gets wet, it disappears. So the fact that you've got this much white sand, white gypsum sand in one place is really amazing. That rain here. Somebody told me that this sand is the same sand that they make drywall out of. I don't know if that's true or not. This is crazy. I've never seen anything like this. Wow, look at this, you guys. It's like a beach in the middle of the mountains, but there's no water. It's crazy. We are just catching it in time. The sun is literally going down behind the mountains. What are those, the St. Andres? San, San Andreas San, mountains. San Andreas Mountains, right there. Right there. The sun is going behind them right now. We're running out of daylight. I wish we had a little more daylight. Feels like I'm on the moon. I need some Pink Floyd right now. <laughs> the dark side of the moon. We found another dune. There you go. <laughs> you did it. Oh, this is even sweeter than the last spot. So it's less vegetation on this dune. It's more like just sand. Look at that. This is crazy. This is really neat. Otherworldly. Well, y'all, as you can see, the sun is setting. It's getting dark and it's getting cold. cold. And we've been up here acting like idiots with our selfie stick having fun though my toes are numb <laughs> i can't feel my face but that's it for tonight you guys what how fun was this this is awesome this was super cool if you have not been to the white sands in new mexico you must do this this is really 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 cool it is i wish we would have gotten here a little bit earlier but you know yeah. that's just how things go but hey we did two national parks in one day that's yeah. impressive, I say. We've been ripping and roaring all day, <laughs> but we caught it. That's what counts. All right, on down the road. Eee, it's cold. Okay, but we are going right across the street from where Billy the Kid was at La Posta de, de la, de la Masilla? 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 I hope we're saying that right. La Posta de la Masilla. So this building is on the National Historical Register. Oh, it was built in the 1800s. It is really nice. Look at the door. Oh my gosh, it's the fanciest bathroom ever. Look at the sink. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Wow, there's all kind of stuff in here. Lots of Christmas decorations. Very nicely decorated in here. Really cool building. Okay, there's the restaurant. I was looking for it. I'm like, where is the restaurant? It's back there. 
so we're in the lobby area. This used to be an outdoor courtyard, and you can tell by the architecture that this all used to be outside, and then they just added a roof to it. That's a piranha. That is a piranha. Where's his teeth? That is the original menu, you guys. That's cents. Not dollars, cents. The place just keeps going and keeps going. The little rooms and corridors, it's neat. So this place came highly recommended. When we were at Austin, our RV park neighbors at Pecan uh, RV Park in Austin, they're from the San Francisco Bay Area. They had just swooped through New Mexico and were on their way to, I forget where they were going, but I told them we were on our way here. They are like, you gotta go check out La Posta de Masilla. He's like, the food is fantastic, and it's a really neat place. And he was right. We're still waiting on our food, so I'm curious to see how the food is. But the atmosphere is awesome. Really neat place. And then the fact that Billy the Kid was jailed next door was kind of neat. And rumor has it that Billy the Kid was actually arrested in here. That this used to be a hotel. I don't know. Leave a comment if you know the true answer to that. So we order queso every time we go to a Mexican restaurant. This is next level queso. It's got whole big giant chunks of green chilies cut up in the queso. Oh my God, look at this. Look at all those chilies up in the queso. Uh -huh. That queso is so good. Okay, so not just chips, but you get rolled tortillas. So you're gonna take this queso. These are fresh, they're hot. It's dripping! Oh yeah. It's not dripping, you're not doing it right. <laughs> I think I like it better on the tortilla than on the chip. It's a totally different tasting it's, queso. It's very different. It's I good. really like it's it. It's good, but it's very different. I really like it. That was good. So good. Okay, so I got the combination plate. Came recommended. It's got the tamale. It's got enchilada, chicken enchilada. It's got some rice, some slaw, some beans. So let's give it a try. Oh, and some chili con carne. Yes. Mm. That's what that was. Okay. I can't see all of my food because it's buried under cheese and chili. Mm, that looks good. Is that an enchilada? Mm. Oh, look. Tostada. Or Crispito. Oh, the rest of old taco. Oh. Oh, off a roll taco. <laughs> I think. Hey. It's, it's okay. How's the enchilada? Like, I feel like this needs, you need to dip it in cheese or something. It's it's a fried tortilla. Stuffed with, well, it's, it's a corn tortilla stuffed with beef. And it's rolled and deep fried. The flavor's good. But that's just okay for me. The enchilada's good. Oh, tamale. I am a big tamale person. I love tamales. There's no flavor in it. Yeah, like, it looks like it would be good, right? That's like so flavorless. There's no flavor in that. That's a bummer. That's the worst tamale I've ever had. And everything else is just okay. Yeah. What a disappointment. Like it came recommended, but you know, the queso is good. Let's see how mine is. Queso is good. So I have the grilled chicken fajita quesadilla. No, fajita burrito. So it's got onions and bell pepper and cheese, and then it's smothered in that chili con queso that we had earlier, so. That's like a lot of chicken. That is a lot of chicken. You pour that cheese on anything, it's gonna be good. Pretty much. It's a really good tortilla. The flavor's really good. 
I think I thought I was getting grilled chicken and this is shredded chicken. It still tastes really good. Just not what I was expecting. But yeah, that that soft burrito with that cheese. I mean, like you said, you can pour that over anything. It's gonna make it good. Elisa's was good, really good. Um, I just unfortunately didn't like mine. Just picked the wrong thing. That's all it is. Uh, the beans were pretty good, but the, the the rolled taco and the tamale, even the rice was it just it was all kind of bland. The chili con carne was was you know it was okay. The enchilada was okay, but yours was good. Like I should have went. I almost got the beef. That would have been good. That jeez again that queso. Oh, that, case that helped it along pretty good. <laughs> that was good. I'd be happy with that. Yep. What an awesome day we had yesterday. So we did two national parks in one day. We did Carlsbad Caverns National Park and White Sands National Park. Uh, ended up spending the night in Las Cruces and had some Mexican food in a really historic part of downtown. Actually, next door was where they housed Billy the Kid when he got arrested, which is pretty neat. But we're at, right now, we are on our way to a little place called Shakespeare on the way to Tombstone, which is a little ghost town. So I'm looking forward to uh, checking that out. That's going to be awesome. And the sun is out. Yes, Finally, it's been overcast. So it's nice to see the sun. Got some Christmas music on. And road is clear. <laughs>